In this video, I'm going to be talking about the five top non-techie WordPress plugins for anyone who has decided to take it on themselves to build a website from scratch with no real coding knowledge or experience actually building websites. These five non-techie plugins are going to be things that will just make your life really easy when it comes to building a WordPress website. I'm talking about from designing pages to SEO to speed, all sorts of things. It's going to be a really simple straight to the point sort of video make sure you click the link in the description to go to my blog where you'll see more information but stay tuned because the video is about to start My number five all-time favorite non-techie WordPress plugin is going to have to be Google Analytics Dashboard for WP. You may be looking at my screen right now and thinking, what the hell is this? This isn't even WordPress. And no, it's not. This is Google Analytics. And if you have never heard of Google Analytics or you have and you're not 100% sure about what the point of it is, well, whenever you have a website, you want to be able to know where your customers, visitors, people are coming from, what they're clicking on how many people etc etc because when we are tracking uh, these sort of data this sort of analytics then we can make very smart decisions for example if you've posted something on Facebook and you posted something on Instagram and you get more people coming from Facebook who are actually converting or uh, filling out the contact form than you are on Instagram, then you want to know that that is in fact the case. Therefore, you want to be focusing your efforts more on Facebook or trying to find a different way on Instagram to get more visitors and what's not. Making sure you know where all your visitors are coming from is really important. And this is what Google Analytics dashboard for WP do does. It's a literally all you would do is come over to the dashboard, select GA analytic and then click activate and it will set you through the whole process and it's step by step, super easy, very simple to use. And then once it's installed, this is what it will look like on your dashboard or in your Google Analytics account. It's completely up to you. But what you can see here, it's just a really smart decision, you know, for any sort of business. It really doesn't matter what sort of business you are. You will never be able to get the same sort of information or you'll, you'll never really be able to make the same sort of smart decisions as you would if you had the data in front of you okay so make sure you have google analytics dashboard for wp installed number four for my non-techie plugin for wordpress has got to be imagify okay imagify is a one click install as you can see here and what this does is it optimizes all your images in other words it compresses all your images and it makes them really small now at the same time it also allows you to resize your images and it also changes the extension to a webp version and if you're not quite sure what that means it's when you upload images onto your website anyone can right click on the image and save it and then they can do whatever they want and even though you may have copyright stuff it doesn't really stop people what webp does is it changes the format so when they try to download it or use it on facebook or pull it into their editing software where they won't be allowed to do so. They will have to then go and try and convert it again. And it just means extra hassle. So the chances are they'll move on and go to another website which doesn't actually protect their images. Now, another reason why this is a really good WordPress plugin is because part of the reason people's websites are slow one of the biggest culprits is because they don't optimize their images okay when you optimize your images you're compressing them and your website isn't as heavy duty it's not trying to load these huge images which are megabytes or even hundreds of megabytes in size in fact uh, what th this will actually compress it to kilobytes so all of a sudden your website is loading a lot faster and this is part of the reason i'm not going to include a uh, WordPress plugin for speed optimization because I know dealing with a lot of small businesses or independent people who have just who are taking on building a website themselves um, challenge 
I know that a big issue is compressing the images because a lot of the time you don't really know how to use uh, Photoshop software or compressing software. So this free WordPress plugin, Imagefy, will do just that for you and it will do it automatically. So when you upload, it automatically compresses everything, optimizes it for you and boom, you don't need to worry about the page speed because this will crush it all for you. Three for my all time non-tech WordPress plugin has got to be WordFence Security. Now, if you've never heard of WordFence Security, it's basically, as the name suggests, a security plugin for your website. You see, a lot of people who try building a website, they don't realize the risks that are actually involved um, and how easy WordPress websites are to hack or breach or anything on those lines. And I'm going to show you this in a second. But one of the really great things with WordFence Security is number one, it's free. Uh, there is a paid version to it. But you know, the free one does a fantastic job. And what you can see here is it will actually automatically do everything. So all you need to do is click one button and that button will optimize and make sure your website stays secure. It will even alert you when plugins need to be updated because that is one of the core ways that people access your web, your website. Uh, hackers access WordPress websites by outdated plugins, core forms and themes, you know, it, that's the best way that they get into your site. Now, there's other ways that they do it, but this predominantly is the easiest way for them to do it. And you can actually see just how many people, uh, how many um, attacks, attempted attacks that WordFence has blocked in just in one day. Now, this is the overall, but let's go ahead and go to one of my other sites, it's a bit more of a busy site. And what you can see is that this is the snapshot of WordFence on your main dashboard. And you can see I've had people from Sweden, from Netherlands, you know, they, they've tried to access the admin side of the website. And you can also see I've got some plugins that need to be updated and my theme needs to be updated. And and, you know, so this is a really good way. And also, whenever someone logs in through your website, it will send you an email letting you know that someone's accessed your website through this IP address and, and, and. It's a really important plugin for security and it's free and it really it's not that heavy duty. So it won't slow down your site that much. Um, and I would just highly recommend using it. WordFence because it's one click, they get straight to the point and there's no faffing around. And at number two for my all-time non-techie uh, WordPress plugin, which is actually a new WordPress plugin that I am just amazed with. Um, I'm so happy because it also ties in with my all-time favorite number one plugin, which we'll get to shortly. But this plugin is called Rank Math WordPress SEO plugin, okay? And it's absolutely incredible for businesses, blog sites, all sorts of things. And you're gonna see why shortly, but if you have been using Yoast SEO or All-in-One SEO, one of these All-in-One SEO plugins, um, you're going to want to switch over to Rank Math, and um, especially if you use my all time five plugins to build your site, and you're going to see why shortly. So, what is Rank Math? Well, first of all, Rank Math is an SEO company. They do all sorts of things with SEO, they analyze websites, they tell you what can be improved, they do audits, all sorts of things. And uh, they recently released a WordPress plugin and um, that ties in with a, a page builder as well. And it basically centralizes everything in a simple, straight to the point way which is so easy to navigate through and put in all your keywords and stuff like that for those of you who don't really know what SEO is or the importance of it well SEO stands for search engine optimization and the best way to think of it is without SEO your website is a shop in a desert you may have the odd passenger or the odd person uh, come by but without any sort of SEO on your site ultimately you're not going to get many views you're not going to get many customers because people are just going to stumble across you so if you sell red shoes for a living then if your website has lots of words in it all about red shoes the chances are in its most simplistic form you're going to rank for red shoes now 
that's a very simplistic way of explaining it, but that's basically the fundamentals. Now, what this uh, plugin does, it, it actually shows you how to do that. And you can see by these images that if you put in your focus keyword, which is red shoes, it's going to give you suggestions and it'll tell you how well the rest of your text is actually optimized, as well as it ties in with your Google Analytics stuff. And it, it's just a seriously good free WordPress plugin for SEO. And I always used to use Yoast SEO, but now I've recently changed over. And I'm also in the process of changing all my other websites over because it ties in with my all time favorite uh, number one WordPress plugin that we're about to cover now. My all time favorite number one WordPress plugin for non techie people needs to be Elementor. And if it's not your favorite yet, because you've even never heard of it, or you've heard of it, but not yet tried it, it's soon going to be. Uh, Elementor has just changed the web development, the WordPress development uh, industry. They have created a all in one uh, solution, which is so sleek, so easy, so simple to use that it's literally turned uh, anyone into a professional web development sort of um, person overnight, okay? Gone are the days where you need super advanced skills or hardcore coding knowledge. Having the basics utilized with this plugin is basically all you need to get going. Um, so what is Elementor? Well, it's a theme builder, okay? And if we have a look, most of my websites are built with Elementor. And you can see that if you hover over your page in the editor, you'll see that there's all sorts of squares and what's not. Well, the page is built out of little blocks. And if you go like this, you can switch, you can change the sizes of the columns and all sorts of things. Uh, you can add text in, add videos in just by dragging and drop dropping just like that. And then if you want to delete, right click and press delete. Okay. And that's how simple it is to build your website using Elementor. It's drag an element into the page and then click on it and edit it. Okay, just like so. And then when you're done, all you do is head over to the bottom and press update and that will update your page. You can also change it for mobile or tablet. Okay, now it's important to know that whenever you're trying anything uh, for the first time, there's always a learning curve with everything. You're always going to need to learn how to do this or learn how to do that. But thankfully with Elementor, it makes it super easy. And you could honestly be up and running within an hour or two with a full blown glossy website. Okay, ones that ones where your family and friends will think that you've spent over a thousand pounds to have built the chance are you will be able to build it yourself using Elementor. They've also got a bunch of templates and all sorts of things ready to go. Okay. And it's just what one of the most important things that you want from uh, plugins, especially ones where you are going to be utilizing for the core bulk of your WordPress website is longevity. And you want that company to, or that plugin company to be constantly developing. Now, since launch, Element is not an old company, but since launch, they've had over 3 million professionals who build sites with Elementor, including myself. I probably have at least 60 odd websites that utilize the Elementor plugin. And the reason why is because it's just so quick, so simple. And a lot of people when they're building WordPress websites is they struggle with changing the header or the footer of things. Well, here you actually create your own little uh, templates and then you can assign it to the whole of the website. So instead of you'll actually see here, if I scroll up, I can't edit my header. And that's because if I click here and then click the header button, then that's where I can edit it. So it's very section based, very module based. It's, it's so simple to use. You will just absolutely love it because um, I do as well. I really hope you enjoyed my five all time favorite non techie WordPress plugins. Uh, I've specifically chosen these five plugins because they really are simple, basically a one click install. And often when you are new to building websites or you just want to get something up and going as fast as possible, um, 
you, you kind of just you don't really want huge learning curves uh, you, you want to get something up for a particular reason and then you can improve it down the line so these five wordpress plugins that i'm recommending will actually do just that for you because we've got the page builder which is elementor we've got the seo plugin that's going to help you get seen which is rank math and then you've got the security aspect which is wordfence as well as the optimization for speed and stuff like that which is imageify and of course you've got your analytics which is going to be GA uh, dashboard and when you combine these five together you've got a very strong foundation ahead of you because they are all long last terms and you, they're just really really good and I'm not speaking from oh I've just tested them once or twice I have built 50 plus websites using all five of these plugins uh, and I use them because sometimes why would you want to reinvent the wheel when you can just get going as fast as possible it makes no sense time is money and often we want to get going so if you enjoyed this video please do me a favor and like and subscribe to my channel as well as leave a comment below let me know what your thoughts are of any of these plugins now one last thing if you visit my website link in the description uh, of this particular video blog then you're going to come across some bonus content and I will give these courses and training and all sorts of things to anyone who uses my links to purchase uh, any of these plugins and the reason why I do this is because when you use my links to purchase uh, these plugins I earn a little bit of a commission which helps pay the bills um, and just to show that I appreciate uh, you actually going out of your way to use my links um, I want to give you something else in return uh, as well as this video but also training on how to do some stuff and how to generate traffic to your website and all sorts of things which you'll be able to find uh, on the blog page under bonus content thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video